Hey guys, Slowjet here. A couple people asked me to make a video on how to flash the plush 60, 80, 100 amp series. The 60, the 80, or the 100 uh, looks like this. That's what the Turn G plush ESC looks like. It's a really good ESC. Um, these are in huge wings. There's one of those red knobs on the floor right here. Anyway, uh, we want to enable braking and do things like beacon mode and be able to reverse the direction of the prop or whatever it is we want to do via the heli is pretty good. So what we need is basically we need this, the, the ESC, and we need a Arduino mini programmer. Um, on the ESC there are four pads on the opposite side from the heatsink. Uh, this is um, these two here, the two first pads are data pins they're labeled white, red, and the last pad, the fourth pad, is a ground. The third pad, we don't do anything with. And we connect those to the Arduino uh, in this order. The first pad is going to connect to D2 on the Arduino. You can see how it's in the middle between ground and D3. The second pad is going to connect to D3. You can see I've connected the red wire here to D3. And the fourth pad is going to go right to the ground. And that's how you set it up on the Arduino. Now we have to program the Arduino. So we'll plug it in here and we'll open up BL Heli Suite, which I'm sure you can find on the internet. Now we've opened it up and we want to go down here to the bottom. Select our COM port. Mine is already selected. USB serial port is what it's labeled on mine. We're going to go up here to make interface. Oh, stop. To make interface. And we're going to go over here and click on Arduino four way interface. This is for C2 mode for Sil Labs ESCs, which the plush are. We're going to click OK. And now I'm told you're supposed to select this one. The last time I did it I selected the top one and it worked fine, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna try this right now. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna select this hex file, the PD3, PD2V, and the version is 20,002 it looks like. You want to flash your Arduino Nano, blah blah blah. Yes I do. So now it's gonna flash. The Arduino's flashing. And Arduino flash successfully by a VR dude. And we're going to select OK. Now we're going to go to Syllab Setup. We're going to select four way Syllab C2 four way interface. All right. And then uh, we need to connect it to your ESC, which mine's already connected to here in the mini track. What I'm going to do actually is use this power for my power supply because it only has to output an amp and I've got the prop on and it should be fine. Let's see. Do this one hand and gonna be fine. Use two hands real quick. Okay, so the ESC is now connected to the battery. This only works with the battery. Now we're gonna go connect. It looks like we're connected. We're going to hit read setup. ESC1 set up read successfully. So, um, it sees one ESC connected. And here it is. And here's what's going on on it. Um, what you wanted, I'll show you how to flash it real quick. We're going to, we're going to flash it because when you do this, that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to get a, uh, a dialogue that pops up and asks you if you want to flash BL Heli to this ESC. And you're going to say yes, you do. And then you'll get this menu, um, and what will happen is you will get an entire, you get, you get a list, sorry, you get an entire list of ESCs on here. Um, I've already flashed this, so it's only, it's just showing me this one. But there's a drop down, and you can select what you want. What you want is Turnigy Plush, and then there's not a hundred amp listed, so I would just flash the 80 if you had a hundred. I'm sure it's going to work. 
Uh, this is an 80 amp. I flashed with 60 last time and it worked fine. So I'm going to reflash it with 80. I hit OK. Yes, I want to flash it. It's writing to the ESC. All right. And then it's been flashed successfully. Um, so the settings you will get will look like this. First thing you want to do is enable PEWM input so that it can be read from your receiver because this is from a multi-copter and uh, they turn that off so that it doesn't get confused from um, uh, other inputs, I guess. Uh, this is what I'm told anyway. Next we want to make sure your brake is on because you want that swoosh sound in the air when you glide by yourself with the prop stopped. And uh, so there's startup beeps too. You can adjust the volume and the beacon volume. So there's a beacon. Uh, if you, so I've set it for five minutes. That means if I leave the throttle alone in the plane for five minutes, it'll start beeping. And the bonus about this is that uh, if you lose your plane in the field somewhere, you can hear it beeping after about five minutes. So to start hearing the beeps. All right, so. That's everything you want. Oh, programming by TX. Leave that on because you're going to want to reprogram your throttle range after you write this. Write setup. ESC1 write OK. So now it's been written to the plane. So let's disconnect our Arduino. And I'm going to power cycle. And if I Power cycle the ESC here. We're just going to check that we got power. Okay, yep. So what happens is my power supply will actually give out if the prop tries to turn. That's a safety feature that I have. So what I want to do now is calibrate my throttle range because I had to push that pretty far up before it engaged. So now set it to full. After those beeps, I'm going to drop this down. Alright, my throttle, throttle range has been calibrated. And that's all you do guys. Any questions? Let me know.